For 99% of human evolution, we've existed outside. And it's only in the post-industrialized era that we've really worked in buildings. And so that relationship with nature has really been lost. I think there's a connectedness that you get from nature. And I think there's a soulfulness about being around plants. Second home is really stylized by the architects. And my job is to clear a space for them to do their best work. And we are looking for a space in, in LA for quite a long time. And I said, we're going to have to come up with something for what well, was a fairly tired old building with a parking lot on it. And we sat down with a laptop. And Selga says he drew three large oval shapes and said, why don't we create three distinct spaces? And he says that I then turned to him and said, why don't we turn every studio into a small space? And he suddenly started populating this CAD file with lots of dots. The first day we were drawing, we called them pots, P-O-T. So we have pots of plants that we are putting in the ground, and then we have the pots of people, and then the rest is just visual. It's the same concept since the beginning to the end, working in nature and building a garden with offices. We had a fairly established plan of how the plants were going to work. But in the end, the garden's been designed using plants that are thriving in Southern California. And so effectively what we did was jump in the back of my car and drive around and see what was growing. And to bring those plants a short distance from the nurseries in which they were being grown back to second home. So we've ended up with plants that we know are happy in this environment. Our hypothesis is that the real human characteristic that's important is, is creativity. And we think going back to simpler technologies can help inform the future in a really groundbreaking way. And so it's really as an exemplar that we're going to have the biggest impact.